I'm always trying to tweak things, try things, uh, work out the best way to go about things. Uh, in the last, well, I want to say two weeks, I've changed up something uh, when it comes to my routine, and that is, you know, on uh, the bench heavy days, I would start off with bench press. Uh, probably the last, I want to say, month, two months, something like that. I would always have my bench press as the last thing on that day. So I would start off with cleans and I go to squats and then finish off with bench press. And then, uh, you know, as the, the goodness with bench press continued and I started setting more and more PRs, I thought to myself, my God, what would happen if I really went in fresh for a bench press session? And, you know, that's kind of how I got the 152 kilo PR. Uh, but then since then, I don't know how long it's been, maybe a week and a bit, maybe two weeks. I, uh, I felt like I'm coming into bench press a little bit cold and I would warm up obviously with bench press I would warm up like I normally do but I feel like I, the spark is not there and then I read a comment last night one of you guys saying that your experience is that you you uh, you bench press better when you squat first and I thought hmm and then I started thinking about what I just said to you about prioritizing bench press and is that actually a smart thing to start off with bench press. You know, for the longest time I've said, I don't like bench press because you walk into the gym or you walk into the garage and then uh, you wanna kinda of get moving, you wanna warm up, you wanna train. And the first thing you do is lay down. <laughs> the bench press is a laying down exercise. Counterintuitive to me, man. So I've always kinda of not liked it. Uh, but when you go at it last, you're kinda of really warmed up and it's kind of more intuitive to lay down at the end of the workout and not at the start. Um, when I experienced the elbow pain, I was motivated more so by getting back to health, more so than improving my bench press. And then I kind of stumbled upon all of these freaking gains with the bench press uh, because my elbow was starting feeling good and I started hitting lots of volume with the bench press and voila. Uh, today I decided to go back to the old ways after I read that comment and I thought, okay, let me start with the snatches and the power cleans and let me do the squat and then I'll go to the bench press. And yeah, I feel better. <laughs> the bar moves better. I don't quite understand what the hell is going on because you'd think that after an hour of training, you'd be less sparky. You'd have less spark in your system to shift some serious weight. But maybe that is true, but whatever, whatever is happening on the other end of that equation, it's you know outweighing the fatigue. So maybe it's the traps, maybe it's the whole nervous system, maybe it's a whole lot of things that kind of get activated when you do such a compound exercise like a power clean or a snatch or a squat. Uh, maybe you wake up a bit more and bench press does a poor job of waking you up because you're freaking laying down. So if you walk into the gym and you straight away lay down, you're probably gonna be half your body's asleep. And if you're benching like me without any leg drive, then obviously half of the body's basically not even woken up. So maybe it's a case of you wake your legs up first and these guys, you know, hold the majority of the muscle in our body, probably, I would say. Uh, so if you wake your legs up, your bench press is going to go better because half of your body is not asleep now. You've woken up. <laughs> uh, this is the benefit of tweaking things around. You're always kind of looking, looking at things, uh, uh, refining things. Uh, sometimes you move away from the, the hot zone, you, you go towards the colder section, you know, that you know, hot, cold, hot, cold game or whatever. It's kind of like that. And uh, my decision two weeks ago to move away from bench press as the last thing to do and move towards first thing to do, it's kind of moved me away from the, the, the kind of the best way to go about it. And now I've kind of found my way back uh, and it's feeling better again. 140 moves really well today. Right now, I'm not finished quite yet with the session. Uh, I've got a couple more sets, but I'm up to six singles at 140. Uh, I'll push to uh, 10 singles to 140, which is something that hasn't been really possible in the last, I want to say, week, because I've kind of be, felt sluggish and tired. Uh, but now that I'm woken up after the, the snatches and, and the cleans and the squats, I feel, feel back to normal now. So. I'll try and get 10 singles and uh, I'll go from there. And so lesson learned, don't start benching as your first uh, exercise. You're too freaking sleepy, man. You're too freaking sleepy and uh, you're not going to get the best out of yourself. So how's that? Uh, it's a bit kind of weird to wrap your head around that, but there you go. Squat first and then bench second. Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.